Hey guys, it's Julie with Julie's Designs. Today I'm going to be working on this headboard. This headboard is from my mom. She bought it a few years ago with the plans of painting it, but never did. So I'm going to work on this for her tonight. My plan for it is to paint it with this Waverly chalk paint that you can get at Walmart in the ink color. And what I did was I watered it down a little bit because we want it to be black, but I want a little bit of this brown to show through as well to give it a little bit of dimension. So we'll see how that turns out. And then after that, I'm going to put this on. It's wood grain enhancer, and it kind of brings out some white in the wood grain. Now, I'm not sure if this is real wood, so I'm not, I don't know if this is going to work out, but I'm going to try it and see how it comes out. I'm just going to go for it. If it doesn't work out, I can always just paint paint it black again. So that's my plan. I'm going to shake it up a little bit. I added some water just in the can. This should be enough to put a coat of paint on it. I'm going to see if I need another coat once the first coat is on. I like the way it looks or if I want to add more. Now this chalk paint really goes a long way. I like the Waverly chalk paint from Walmart. It comes in a bunch of different colors. I can finish a lot of projects with it. Now, if you want to do black, do not use the chalkboard paint. That black is a little more shiny. If you're wanting to use do black chalk paint, get the, the ink color. So you can see how quickly it goes on. The black covers very well. I think I'm just gonna do one coat. I see a little bit of that brown coming through like I want it. That way it's not just gonna be a flat black. It's gonna have a little dimension. It's gonna have a little bit of brown coming through. It's gonna have a little bit of the white once I put the wood enhancer on top. I don't want to distress it. What she's trying to do is kind of match this dresser that she already has in her room, which is kind of what I'm going for. The black with a little bit of brown showing through. It's not distressed, so I don't want to distress it and have the brown come through. So right now, it is late on a Friday night. It's around 11 o'clock at night and I am up because my boys have a birthday one day apart from each other. So today my youngest turned eight and tomorrow my oldest boy is turning 13. He's going to be a teenager. So they both have a sleepovers tonight so I can't go to bed. I just kind of got to stay up and keep an eye on them, which, you know, as it gets later into the night, I'll probably start to make them go to bed, but for now, I'm just going to stay busy so I can stay awake and let them have their fun. As long as they're not destroying my house or trying to run away, they're good. Which the little boys are starting to settle down, and the big boys are just, you know, playing video games. So don't be scared to try something new. Just go for it and have a plan B if you're really scared. I know this is gonna turn out, this black is gonna turn out the way that I want. If the wood enhancer doesn't turn out the way that I want, I'll just wipe off what I can and then I'll just paint another coat of black and that'll be good. So, oh, I've been helping my parents redo their master bedroom and bathroom. They had a major water leak. They had to gut everything. So, they just, the house was built about 30 years ago. So, everything just needs to be updated. So, I'm helping them kind of update stuff. So, that's why this headboard 
It's finally getting painted after all those years. When my mom moves everything back in her bedroom, she wants it just the way she had imagined it. So, and this, the wall behind where this bed is going is gonna be a light color. So this headboard's really going to stand out and look good. on the last panel of the headboard and it is coming out exactly like I want it. The paint's a little bit watered down so you see a little bit of the brown showing through and there was also some white in the wood grain already and that's also showing through. So I don't think I'm gonna put the wood enhancer on. I think it looks exactly like I want it. Now when I get it in the room, and I feel like it needs something more, then I may add to it. But I think this is the look we are going for. I think my mom's going to love it. I think it's going to look great in her room. I'm so happy I watered down this paint. I think if I would have just did the ink black chalk paint, not watered down, it would just be too, too black. It wouldn't have any dimension. It would just be flat black. You water it down a little bit, some of this brown showing through, some of this white showing through. I'm going to bring y'all in and give y'all a closer look at it. And I'm not going heavy on the paint. I just put a little bit of a paintbrush and I smooth it out as much as I can before I dip my paint back in. I think that's good. for any spots I might have missed. And of course in the daylight I might see some some more little areas. Looks great. So you can see that it's black but you can see some of the brown showing through and then some of that white wood grain and I didn't fill in the crack so it still has The crack pattern and the wood grain coming through and I just did one coat of that watered down black and it came out exactly like I want it. I think it's going to look great in my mom's bedroom. I think this is exactly what she wanted. So I'm done with my project for the night. It took me about 10 minutes to complete it. Not very long. It was very quick and easy. I only did one coat of that watered down black and I think it's good to go. Um, so that's it, just stay tuned. Like I said, I'm helping my parents redo their bedroom and bathroom. So I'll be putting up more videos as I help them remodel. Thanks for watching and give this video a big